In this video, we're going to take a look at creating 3D printable models using two AI tools, ChatGPT and the Image to 3D Model tool on MakerWorld. I learned this technique from a YouTube video, which I will link to below. In ChatGPT, click Create Image and type in a basic prompt for your figure. Here's my prompt. Can you make a 3D image of a lynx? Keep it simple. I don't need fine details. And you can see the corresponding image that was created. From here, click Download to download the image. And then on the Maker World site, click Maker Lab and scroll down to the bottom. And under Image to 3D Model, click Try It. From here, you just click to upload the image that you just downloaded from ChatGPT. You can see that I've already done it. Here's the model that I've got. It looks pretty great already just by itself, but I'm concerned about a couple different areas. The tips of the ears are way too pointy, I think, to print well, and also the bottom tufts of fur under the chin, I think, are also too thin. And I also don't want a multicolor image. I just want a single color image. So back in ChatGPT, I added make the model solid white, thicken the thin parts a little bit. And this is the result that I got. Once again, I downloaded the image and uploaded to make a world. And this is the model that I got. You can see here that the tips of the ears are rounded, which is good. And also that the tufts of fur on the face have been thickened. So that all looks good. From here, you just click download and you'll see a file name result.obj, so it's an OBJ file, which we can open in Bamboo Studio. We'll click to add a model under Downloads, Result.obj, and click Open. Now here, even though the model is completely white, it's showing various shades of tan or brown. So I'm going to reduce the number of colors to one, and I'll go ahead and leave that. That's OK. I'll click OK. It added the new color, so I'll click minus to subtract that filament, and there's my model. Now all I need to do is add supports, slice, and print, and here's the finished model. I'm really quite surprised at how well it came out. 